if someone finds out you're a female online, you're just like, it's game over. You're called out on everything. You're, you, people come after you, like in video games per se. Um, and they just target you because you're female. I have had some discrimination when I was playing video games live. Uh, when I would go to parties in high school and you know they would play Super Smash Brothers, you know everybody would play it on the Wii. You usually wouldn't get a turn until they were done playing because you know only the hardcore gamers were allowed to play first, and then you know they would let you play. Um, and they would you know tell you that they would go 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 easy on you because they knew you couldn't play as well or. And even if you weren't as experienced, if you were as experienced, they did just kind of laughed it off as being like, oh, you just had a, you know, a good shot, you know, this beginner slut kind of thing. It's intimidating for females in an all-male environment. It's intimidating. Some males and some females don't tend to stray from something that they're comfortable with. You have to make yourself assertive. You have to gain their respect first. You just got to push forward and try to get past that because it can be intimidating being the only female in an all-male environment. We need to rethink the way we teach it and we represent it in the media. It's going to take a while, but I mean the best way to do it is just to make sure that girls know that they are welcomed in the industry. I see the gender a gap changing in the future because there's a lot more females now in the in the gaming industry and they're they're becoming more assertive. It's not like it is back then. Having a female in the industry is very beneficial due to the different tactics and different strategies that they have. I play uh, mostly Halo, uh, the Halo series. I started playing in ninth grade where I didn't feel a lot of females were playing. I didn't find a lot of females playing that game, Halo at the time. And I was very intimidated at first. I got trashed on, trash talked to, called out on. Because of what I went through when I was younger, I want to show them that they are wrong and that they can't beat me down to where I don't know what I'm talking about. I have a textbook that I'm reading right now for my game design class that is meant to let people into the program. It's the class you need to take to continue on in the program and it's a textbook that everybody needs to read and it has an entire chapter in there about the differences of different, of different genders and what they like in video games and it has the same viewpoints of somebody from the 50s where females like things that are nurturing and it, I mean it really references Barbie fashion, Barbie fashion game in the book and that's what girls predominantly like and it's very angering <laughs> to see that that's still, it's written in stone and people are reading that right now and thinking that guys need to like violent video games and girls need to like fashion and cooking video games instead of just looking at people as people and their different interests. I see the gender a gap changing in the future because there's a lot more females now in the in the gaming industry and they're they're becoming more assertive. It's not like it is back then where you have to like way back when you have women are not very assertive. Like it's now getting to the point where we're we're equal, more equal than we've ever been before and they're not as scared as they were to essentially work in an all male environment. You need to be able to show f girls that you know, there are girls that play video games, there are girls that design video games, there are video games that are geared more towards the female audience um, instead of completely ignoring them. I mean, the best way to do it is just to make sure that girls know that they are welcomed in the industry and are respected.